We're kind of at the brink of starting our renovation. Since then, we've been working really hard on, on renovating our building and um, are working to get volunteers in here to do, do those projects for us. Rohr says a lot of construction work needs to be finished before they can open up. The facility will be able to host 12 children at a time. But she says the nursery could see as many as 20 children throughout the day. Rohr says her ultimate goal is to make the place fun and comforting area for children. Uh, we'll have a brand new uh, staircase, which we're really excited about. Um, and then in the back portion of our building, that's where our, kind of our living quarters will be uh, because we might have children here overnight. And the living quarters will be equipped with two bedrooms and two bathrooms for those who stay the night. Rewer says her plans for the facility wouldn't be possible without the community support. People have come from all over uh, to help us with things big and small from donating blankets to helping us install uh, plumbing, um, really anything and everything you can imagine. And, and we pretty much needed everything under the sun to, to get our building up to code and, and to meet the licensing requirements we'll have to meet. Um, so it's, it's really been incredible to be a part of, of this. And meeting these requirements is no easy task. Ruer says she's already delayed her grand opening a few months. We're really hoping by October, November, the end of October is what we're shooting for. Um, but, you know, we've, we've had a lot of experiences here already to teach us that we have to be really patient.